We're going to turn now to Texas reeling from Hurricane Hannah. Rob is on the ground for us in Corpus Christi tracking the very latest on that and Hawaii bracing for Hurricane Douglas. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Robin. Two hurricanes hitting two states over the weekend. Let's get right to Douglas because we have hurricane warnings up in Hawaii. That is a rare event. Here's some of the video out of, of Maui last night and uh, yesterday with big surf coming in. This is just far enough north to where we're, we're going to be unscathed, relatively speaking. But look at the eye crossing just north of Oahu. Honolulu breathing a sigh of relief right now, but Kauai, you're next. And uh, hopefully we'll skim just to the north of that. But certainly some destructive uh, winds in some spots and some rough surf. No such luck of... of Hannah missing Texas over the weekend, coming on shore on Saturday. Look what it did to this historic beach and pier, concrete structure being torn up, a hundred foot a section of this pier being ripped off as Texas got a direct hit from Hurricane Hannah this weekend. Hurricane Hannah wreaking havoc in Texas, flooding scores of neighborhoods and businesses. After making landfalls a powerful Category 1 hurricane. We're in the eye wall of Hurricane Hannah, which is making landfall right now on the coast of South Texas with 90 mile per hour wind. The storm causing flooding at a maternity hospital just over the Texas border in Reynoso, Mexico. Doctors and nurses trying to protect expectant mothers and newborns from the water, evacuating everyone to higher floors. While in Texas, the first Atlantic hurricane of the season blowing over this semi. Spreading roofs and splitting structures in half in Port Mansfield. You have to carry them on your back, carry them on your back. And forcing water rescues in Corpus Christi. Texas's Governor Abbott now issuing disaster declarations for more than 30 counties as the state battles one of the worst COVID outbreaks in the U.S. Texas now nearing 400,000 cases. Nurse Lachey Rhodes, a mother of five from Kansas, coming to Corpus Christi to help overwhelmed hospitals after working in New York during the peak of the outbreak. Why not come down and help where we're needed? Storm or no storm, we're getting it done. We're certainly grateful for all their service shaping up to be a very active hurricane season, unfortunately during a pandemic, and we have another a piece of activity in the Atlantic watching this potential tropical cyclone. The National Hurricane Center thinks it's going to happen, likely to be a named storm as well as it tracks close to the Bahamas, uh, Puerto Rico, and potentially the U.S. After, uh, after this week. We'll be tracking that closely. Robin, back up to you. Okay, Rob, want everyone to stay safe, thinking of all impacted by that weather. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.